In this video, I'd like to introduce you to tables in Google Sheets, which has been one of the greatest additions to Google Sheets in a number of years. It can take a table that looks like this into a table that looks like this with data validation and a much nicer user interface. So let me show you how this works. To create a Google Sheets table, just click within the table that you want to convert, go into format, and then go down to convert to table. This will turn this into a table. And there's numerous things you can do from here. I'm going to rename this into employee table. And now we can get going from here. In a table, there's some options on the top of the table you can get to by pressing this button here. You can adjust the table range. I'm going to adjust this to 500. So I have my uh, additional rows to be added later. I'm going to adjust the table colors. So I'm gonna turn this into this color here. And now I can get going on the column validation. So for each column, we can pick what validation we want in that column by editing the column type. So this is my first number. So I'm just gonna change that to a number, first name, I'm just going to change this to text, same with last name. So nothing too new there, except this will be validated so it can only accept those types. Where the beauty of this really comes in is when we start looking at some of our other columns here. I've got gender here, which is male or female. So I can edit this to a drop down, and this drop down now has my male or female. I can add another value in here if I want, and I can allow multiple selections in here. This is all done on the column rather than on the cell itself, which would have been the case before. For all of these, I just want to also add a placeholder. So just putting show placeholders on each of these and we'll see what this does later on. So for the start date, I just want to change this to a date. And the beauty of this is that we can go in there now and change the date based on a calendar. For years, again, I just want to do a number and departments, I can do another drop down. You can see all the departments in there. Countries, again, I want to do a drop down and I'll show you just adding another country in here. So I've just added Ireland in here and then any of these drop downs will now accept Ireland as well. For monthly salary, I'm going to do a currency. So we can go to number, we can go to currency in here. And for annual salary, I'm also going to do a currency. So we can also add an additional column to this. Say I wanted to add whether the employee left or not, I can just put a tick box in here and just rename this column as Libra. And now I can tick whether an employee has left the company or not. Then this also contains smart chips, so we can go down and insert a file. So we'll just say this is the person's CV and then a file. We can put a file in here from wherever on our Google Drive. And the last thing we're going to do is put in an employee rating. It's going to edit this column column type, go down to smart chips and put in rating. And then we have a rating in here, which we can put from one to five stars. So if I go down, I can see that I have placeholders for a new insert. So if I wanted to put 250 in there, that's fine. I've got my drop down. I've got my date field. It's going to start today in the company, zero years in the quality control, Saudi Arabia in the north section, starting on 2000 and then 25,000 in here. He's not a lever. Uh, here is his CV. We'll just say property sales. And, and this is how easy it is to deal with data insertion. The other thing we can do with this table is we can have different views of the data. So there's two types of views you can do and you, and you do the views by going into the spreadsheet tab here. So you can create a group by view. So if I wanted to create a group by department or country, I can do that. So I'm just going to create a group by country. So now I can see all my employees from Egypt, Lebanon, Saudi Arabia, Syria, they're grouped in there. I, that's a temporary view at the moment, but I can save this. I'm just going to call it group by country and then X out of that. That gives me my data set and I can go into my group by country whenever I want. And then I can also do a filter view. To so say I wanted a view of people that were at the company for more than four years, I filtered that out to kind of long-term employees. Now I can save this view as long-term employees. And then I have both of my views saved here, long-term employees and group by country. So you can see that tables in Sheets really help with that data validation and data entry and keep everything in a consistent format so that our data can be clean in order to do some analytics on it. Hope you found this video useful. Follow for more.